NASA recently unveiled a series of breathtaking images captured by its most powerful space observatory to date the James Webb Space Telescope. These weren't just stunning photos, they were the deepest glimpses into the universe humanity had ever seen. Somewhere in the dark abyss of space, something was revealed, a discovery so unexpected, so disruptive, that it shook even the most experienced astrophysicists to their core. Weber's most advanced eye on the cosmos had peered beyond the veil of deep space and stumbled across an object that defied the foundational principles of astrophysics. This wasn't just a peculiar anomaly or some distant oddity. It was a discovery that, by every known law of physics and cosmology, simply should not exist. Webb's finely tuned instruments captured light from an object so radically at odds with the universe as we understand it that scientists were forced to begin reevaluating how space, time, and matter behave at the most fundamental levels. It all began when the telescope focused on a distant corner of the cosmos, a sector of space glowing faintly with ancient light light that had traveled across billions of years. Emitted not long after the Big Bang, Webb's infrared sensors, meticulously engineered to detect the oldest and most distant galaxies, were looking so far back in time that it was akin to witnessing the universe awaken from its primordial slumber. Astronomers expected to find early galaxy small, disordered structures just beginning to take shape. Instead, they found something else entirely. Amid the shadows of cosmic infancy was a colossal, fully formed spiral galaxy mature, symmetrical, and impossibly old. Its spiral arms, its defined core, its massive structure all of it pointed to a level of galactic evolution that shouldn't have been possible at that time. According to the standard model of cosmology, the universe was less than 400 million years old when this galaxy existed. But by every account, galaxies of this scale and complexity should have taken billions of years to form. Webb wasn't just capturing a snapshot of history, it was capturing a paradox. The early universe, as we've long understood it, was supposed to be turbulent, chaotic, a foggy soup of particles and radiation, still expanding, still cooling. Galaxies forming during that era should have looked nothing like this one. They were expected to be ragged, irregular, composed of enormous, short-lived stars scattered across unstructured clouds of matter. But this discovery told a different story. It suggested a radically accelerated timeline, nor perhaps something even more shocking. A completely different mechanism of galaxy formation. One that had never been imagined, let alone accounted for. If such an elegant and massive galaxy had formed that early, it meant the ingredients required for complex structures, dust, heavy elements, stable stars had been available much earlier than anyone thought possible. That would mean the process of stellar nucleosynthesis, the forging of heavier elements within stars, was occurring in ways that challenge everything we understand. Perhaps the first generation of stars lived and died faster than our models predicted. Or maybe there was an entirely unknown process that accelerated the cosmic enrichment. Either possibility shakes the very pillars of astrophysical theory. Researchers began to ask daring questions. Could dark matter have played a more active and dynamic role in the early universe than previously believed? Could our interpretation of redshift be flawed, throwing off our estimates of age and distance? And then came an even more radical possibility could the laws of gravity, as we understand them, require modification at cosmological scales? Or was this discovery evidence of something even stranger like parallel universes bleeding into our own? The questions multiplied when follow-up observations showed this wasn't an isolated event. Webb began detecting more of these galaxies, massive, luminous, and structurally mature existing at a time when such things simply should not have existed. One particularly confounding detail was the chemical makeup of the galaxy. Webb's spectrograph didn't just see hydrogen and helium the expected gases of the first stars. Instead, it detected signatures of carbon, oxygen, even iron. These are heavy elements formed deep within stars and expelled in violent supernovae. For them to exist in such quantities, entire generations of stars 
would have needed to form and die before this galaxy came into being. But how could that have happened in such a short time? This forced scientists to consider either an impossibly fast cycle of stellar birth and death or some unknown pathway to elemental creation. And the galaxy's structure wasn't chaotic, it was refined. Its spiral arms were tight, ordered, and gravitationally stable, that kind of organization takes hundreds of millions of years of interaction and gravitational shaping, but the required scaffolding massive black holes, dark matter halos, and galactic mergers shouldn't have existed yet. Even more astonishing was the galaxy's behavior. It's like curved the way its brightness changed over time suggested, activity that shouldn't exist so early in the universe. There were hints of active galactic nuclei, perhaps even quasars, powered by supermassive black holes. If those were present, it meant black holes must have formed and grown on timelines. We currently consider impossible. That would force a complete rewrite of how and when black holes form, and what environments make that possible. This had implications far beyond black holes and galaxies. If complex galaxies were forming this early and contained such rich chemical, Diversity than the ingredients for planetary systems were available billions of years before Earth even existed. Elements like iron, silicon, carbon critical for rocky planets and organic molecules were in circulation. Which means habitable conditions could have existed far earlier in the universe's history than we previously thought. Life, perhaps, had a head start somewhere else in the cosmos dot thanks to Webb's incredible resolution. Scientists could study this galaxy in detail, never before possible. They could trace gas flows within spiral arms, map star-forming regions, and uncover a radically different vision of the early universe one that was more structured, more stable, and more complex than any model had anticipated. It was as if Webb had tuned into an alternate version of Cosmic History one that had followed a different script altogether. And what made it even more staggering was that it wasn't a fluke. One galaxy might be dismissed as an anomaly, but more kept appearing. Each one reinforced the idea that we hadn't just missed a few details, we had fundamentally misunderstood an entire chapter of the universe's story. It wasn't just that the early universe was different than we thought. It was that everything we assumed about the sequence and scale of cosmic evolution might need to be revised or discarded entirely. The implications were minor. They were seismic, the discovery cast out on swaths of astrophysical theory. Webb had done something no other telescope had managed. It revealed a flaw in our most basic assumptions about time and matter. This galaxy shouldn't have had enough time to form yet it had. It had matured and sent its light across the cosmos in just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, calculations, models, and theories that had guided generations of astronomers. Now stood on shaky ground, some researchers began to explore even more unconventional ideas. Could this be a remnant of a previous universe? A relic from a cosmic cycle that predates the Big Bang? Or perhaps an imprint from higher dimensions a structure from another realm interacting with our own in ways we're only beginning to? Imagine these ideas were no longer dismissed as speculative fantasy. They became necessary avenues of inquiry because the evidence, however uncomfortable, refused to be ignored. This wasn't just a scientific anomaly, it was a philosophical shockwave. It called into question the very notion that the universe had a singular, predictable history. Instead, it suggested a cosmos governed by laws. We don't yet understand where time flows differently, galaxies grow in unexpected ways, and the major of reality itself is stranger than we dared to dream. As more data streamed in, more questions arose. Webb didn't just reveal a galaxy, it revealed the scope of our own ignorance. The telescope, intended to illuminate the early universe, ended up casting a shadow over our most cherished theories. It taught us something profound. That in deep space, the impossible isn't always untrue, it's simply undiscovered. When the James Webb Space Telescope recorded its first impossible encounter, a new chapter in astronomy began one that immediately diverged from the safe trajectory science had followed for decades. As more details emerged, 
it became clear this wasn't a fluke. It was the first fracture in a vast wall of assumptions. What had started as a curious discovery quickly ignited. A revolution, one especially unsettling feature of this galaxy was its internal symmetry and rotational stability. Its spin rate, relative to its mass distribution, pointed to a level of galactic maturity usually requiring billions of years of evolution through mergers, gravitational feedback, and complex internal processes. But this system had achieved that in mere hundreds of millions of years. That level of coherence hinted at something deeper, perhaps a pre-established harmony in the universe's physics that violated what we thought causality allowed. As scientists analyzed the galaxy's gravitational lensing effects, more peculiarities came to light. Its gravitational field was disproportionately strong compared to its visible mass.